You guys might have remembered a video I made back a while ago about the easy savings plan and basically what you do is you save uh, well you save in order but I made up this list to where you can save however much you want based on the week and um, so you start out with one dollar on the first week of the year and then the second week of the year you add two dollars and then the third week of the year you add three dollars to your savings so you know after the end of the third week you've saved six dollars big deal but then you keep adding a dollar to every week of what you save and at the end of the year you should save thirteen hundred and seventy eight dollars well you can see my list is totally checked off and I have fulfilled my savings plan and a lot of it I, I of course already saved up and spent before the end of the year mainly on Christmas gifts for the family but part of the savings I bought myself uh, a few things and of course I, I donated some of it and I gave some to my church and um, sent some nice gifts to some friends but anyway um, here's what I want a couple of things that I bought I'll zoom you in and uh, show you here this is a scale and I bought myself a big box of freedom Registers there on the viewfinder. Uh, 48.8 pounds. I think it came up 52 pounds earlier. So let me try that again. Ugh. It's not sitting on a stable desk. Yeah, 48. We'll go 48 pounds. Ugh. But anyway, well, I'll just leave it on the scale. So let me open her up with my cold steel highlight yes siree and I'm telling you this is the time to buy something like this uh, before the next election cycle just saying I hate that just saying but it's part of our vernacular now we can't avoid it but anyway it came in a uh, Prior, well, priority if it fits it ships under 70 pounds and uh, these are kind of cool I, I guess you can use these for something they're nice thick mylar I, I don't know I'll, I'll figure out something to do with these pretty decent bags I'm guessing they get their supplies from this anyway I got me Hear that? This is 500 125 grain 357 hollow points. Yes, I will open them up, but I want to keep them separated. So I've got, good lord, this is a thousand rounds of uh, hollow points. And uh, there's no card. They usually send you some literature with it. Oh, my goodness. And this is another. Uh, this is what. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Thought I got more. Anyway, this is probably another thousand rounds of. Uh, I think these are 124 9 millimeters. But let's crack her open. Uh. Before I go into that, the other thing I got for myself is uh, a uh, something I saw on Fire Mountain Outdoors. Uh, I'm looking around for their hat. <laughs> Fire Mountain Outdoors had this on one of the videos, and, I, and if I remember, I'll put a link. Uh, well, let me back up. <laughs> you probably didn't see any of that. Let me start over. All right, so... What's in this box of freedom? It is. That's right. 500 pounds of 350. 500 pounds. 500 rounds of 357, 125 grain RMR 
hollow points. Uh, I'll let you look at these later. But anyway, uh, so we'll look. Oh, and uh, anyway, I got a lot of them. Uh, but the other thing I got for myself is in this box. What's in the box? And I saw this on Fire Mountain Outdoors' channel. And I believe Mark was the one who featured it. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box below uh, of that video. And they are very, very reasonably priced offset backup sights for your AR. Um, especially if you have big optics. Look at that. That is cool. They got the ghost ring sights. Uh, they do flip up. Is that the workmen? Uh, there you go. Yeah, they do flip up. That's the bigger aperture there. But what they do is, uh, I'll show. I'll show it maybe at the end of the video. Um, they they mount and they they're 45 degrees offset to give you a backup set of sights in case your optics fail there's the front one and they're very they're aluminum very durable looking aluminum they got need an allen key or allen wrench to uh to mount them but i saw when i saw these on fire mount outdoors video i i mean that's like yeah that's what i need for sure oh uh, the elevation's a little loosey-goosey. I don't know if you can tighten that down or not. I don't know if you want to tighten that down or not. I don't know. I'm not liking that too much. I'll have to message Mark at uh, Fire Mountain Outdoors to see if that's, if that's supposed to be that loose. Or if you can tighten that up. I don't know. I know it's not that loose on my uh, on my carry handle. I expect it to be, you know, have a good detent like that, but... Uh, Alright, moving right along. Let's uh, take a look at these bullets. So these are... Um, what I got are hollow points, but mainly for plinking. They're not expanding hollow points. But... Uh, I am uh, getting new piece of hardware that takes nine millimeter and I wanna start up the reloading press oh they do come in these bags oops oh there there is literature in it oh, spilling oh, okay cool I guess these are just for but anyway I don't know these guys personally I saw them on uh, st. Louis Ray Edwards uh, uh, video one time, but yep, rmrbullets.com, and they have excellent, excellent prices. Uh, and again, let me—I don't know if I can get a close-up of that, but these bullets are yes, they're hollow points, but they're not meant to expand. They're meant to uh, deflect when they hit a steel plate. And what's nice about them is they're completely plated so there's no uh, no leading or no lead no gas cutting issues with them um, let's see those are HPP they call them let's, let's see what's in this box here and the prices uh, were very reasonable they were right around a penny a piece so you can plink quite a lot. That's if you reload for not a lot of money. You know, um, I kind of figured it out. I can still, with the with the supplies I have on hand, I can still reload nine millimeter for about five bucks a box, a fifty. Yep, these are more. Um, Oh, okay. These are the 357 variety, and these 
came out of this box. These are the nine millimeters, so I really need to mark these before I forget. Uh, I can I can mic them, uh, but I also got in here they have what are blemies or blemished uh, hollow points, and these do expand. So I'm. Uh, Kind of excited about these too. Try them out on uh, maybe some generic potted meat cans. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness! Yeah. yeah, buddy. Look at that. And I think there's no markings on these, but I think the yeah these are nine millimeters. These are for nine. So. That's all I got for this video. Where's my little saving sheet here? I'm telling you, this really works. Uh, it it keeps you kind of uh, wanting to save the next milestone, or you can save backwards with the more expensive milestones, and then work your way back. But yeah, um, it'll it'll really help you with your savings discipline for things that you may want or may even need you know it, when, when you look at the sheet you kind of think to yourself hmm do I want that uh, do I want that extra cheeseburger or do I want that latte or do I want to put it towards my savings plan to uh, to get me some something better down the road uh, so thanks for watching I'll catch you later